All right, it's time for that part of the show where we drop the mic on one topic affecting our community in hopes we can all learn a little more. We don't actually drop the mic because these are expensive and very sensitive and it'd make a really loud noise if it hit the floor. So last night, the January 6th Select Committee presented to America its latest public hearing, and it was hyper-focused on President Trump's actions, and more accurately, his inactions, during the 187 minutes that the Capitol was under attack. And from where I was sitting, it was the most captivating hearing so far. It was informative, as they've all been. It was provocative, as they've all been. And it was at times infuriating, as they've all been. But it was unintentionally funny, which is often the best kind of funny. Now, don't misunderstand me here. The content of the hearing was horrific, as they all have been. The testimonies we heard and the presented evidence shows us that democracy itself was under attack from the highest levels of our own government, an attack that appears to be ongoing. Having said that, the jokes were flowing last night. Like I said, they were unintentional as far as I could tell, but man, there were some funny moments, and I got a few of them queued up. Going in no particular order here. First, I want you to check out this video of former D.C. police officer and January 6th mob survivor Michael Fanone being harassed by a couple of, quote, patriots as he was leaving the hearing last night. Now, there's nothing funny about that until, well, just watch. We see uh, Fanone here being pursued by a couple of magpies asking him asinine questions, and then BAM! Down goes Divock! An anti-Trump protester sets a pick for Fanone with that banner, and dude goes down. Talk about drawing the foul. I I've watched this tape about 60 times now. I'm pretty sure that our victim here, you can't really see it, swung his arm into the flagpole before flopping to the ground like a beached whale. He did a lot of yelling. But it kind of looked like the same kind of flailing a soccer player does to try and draw the ref's attention. Well, we can tell you this, flagpole guy did end up getting arrested and charged with simple assault. Next, from the hearing itself, we have this behind-the-scenes look at former President Donald Trump trying to record a national address the day after the attack on the Capitol. I would like to begin by addressing the heinous attack yesterday. Yesterday is a hard word for me. Just take it out. Ah, good. Take the word yesterday, because it doesn't work with. Just, just, just take it out. That was Ivanka Trump's voice you heard show producing in the background. Look, as somebody who speaks on television for a living, I would like to show a little sympathy here. I have words that trip me up. Not many. Certainly not the word yesterday. However, I've never claimed to be a very stable genius who's like real smart, nor have I ever refused to concede a duly processed and certified election. So I'm just here for the laughs. And finally, we have the image of the night, the piece de resistance. Senator Josh, I'm a man's man, Holly, running out of the Capitol as the mob was closing in, running away from the same crowd he egged on with a fist of solidarity earlier in the day on the 6th. Now that is what my comedian friends call a closing bit, a joke that is so strong, nothing can follow it. Listen to the reaction of the crowd in the room and they played this. <laughs> yep, and that's a, that's a tense crowd. Hard to get them to sort of break out and laugh, but they were laughing for all of us. Now, there's no coming back from this for Holly. The internet is not going to let us forget his finest moment, like this tweet in response from Greg Kilday. From now on, if political reporters ask Josh Hawley if he's planning to run, he's going to have to ask them to clarify. Now go online and check out some of the musical backings people immediately put behind the video. I need somebody out there to create one with Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On from Titanic. Near, far, wherever insurrectionists are. Also look up the Chariots of Fire version of Holly's Sprint to Safety. It's magnificent. We had a good time with last night's hearing, but don't feel bad about it. Humor can be found in almost any situation, even one as heinous as this. Take it when it comes. Laughing doesn't mean that we don't recognize the seriousness of the situation. We see it, and we're going to act on it, but there's nothing wrong with getting a few jokes in along the way.